Good morning, friends. This is Luke, and I wanted to share with you some thoughts that I've had recently over the book of Ephesians. I'm reading Ephesians with a group of friends, and chapter 6 is a, a really powerful chapter, right? It's a very famous chapter. It talks about the armor of God, and we've got this uh, belt of truth, breastplate of, of righteousness, shoes that are, or shoes that are like the, the gospel of peace, and there's all, all these different pieces here to this uh, uh, armor that we're supposed to be wearing. And, and it's mostly defensive, and it's to protect us against um, the, the attacks of the enemies. And we're able to stand against the powers and principalities that are at work in the world. Um, but, I, you know, you, you read that passage and you think, well, well, what are we supposed to do here? I see we're supposed to stand against the evil one and his work. We're supposed to stand fully clothed in this armor, which is not our strength. It's the strength of the Lord. But what are we supposed to do with it? Well, Paul tells us in verse 18 that we're supposed to be about prayer. He says, praying at all times and in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. That that is the duty of the Christian. The word to be about prayer. Now, it's other things that would flow from that, but that uh, dressed in this armor, our number one active duty is prayer. It's to pray. And so we are trying to establish a rhythm of praying, of training our hearts and our minds to focus in on this Christ who is glorious above all things. And we uh, delight in the fact that he delights in speaking to us. So I want to encourage you to set your alarm, 12 o'clock, 12.10 or something like that, so that you can pull away from all the rush and hurry that's going on in your life so that you can join me on Facebook, uh, the Grace Anglican Community's Facebook page, um, for, for prayer, for midday prayer at 12.15 is when we, when we kick it off. And uh, we're going to be singing some songs, we're going to be praying some prayers, we're going to be listening to scripture, and ultimately listening for Christ to speak uh, into our lives, and, uh, and, and trying to establish a rhythm of training our hearts to be oriented Godward, to be thinking about who He is, and thinking about the things that He loves and cares about, and, and ultimately praying for, for, for God to unleash His grace and His glory in, in and through our lives. And so... Uh, we have to be intentional to do this. We have to make it a priority. And so I know sometimes it's tough to pull away from things in the middle of the day, but I want to encourage you to, to try to do that, to make it a priority, to pull away. Um, again, as there's a, a devotional aspect of that, which is kind of what I've been highlighting here, but there's also a missional aspect of it. When we as a church intentionally pull away from all the things that are around us, and, and why are we pulling away? It's to, to orient our hearts and our minds and to adore this Jesus in whom we serve, in whom we find life. So uh, with all that, my friends, I pray that you are doing well, and I hope to see you at 1215 uh, throughout this week. God bless.